So, All right, did you piss on your wife or did that come about afterwards? Would like, did that fetish come? I'm pissing on you guys? in this conversation right now. I wouldn't. So why don't we go on to the next topic now? So what else do you, uh, what, why, what are some what of your was controversial the piss opinions? Thing before or after, I'm just before or after. What are some of your controversial opinions then? Um, I don't know. Race is real. Gay is bad. Okay. So pretty much the whole. I mean, I'm pretty big thing. into the gay thing. I'm pretty, I'm pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, so. I can tell. <laughs> I'm I'm super gay, so uh, <laughs> so what? Why why is why is gay bad? I've already told you that that doesn't matter. That's not what that's not what race is. Race is not a socially constructed form of identity. It's a socially constructed category. You're a race realist. Let's go. You're telling me that it's not a social race is not a social construct. It's not a socially constructed identity. It is a socially it constructed category. What do you mean by that? That's what I said. It's, so it's based on genetics, is what you're saying. I said it's a socially constructed category. Friend, going good. I've uh, never really heard of you before. Sorry. Yeah, we debated once. Um... You left after like 10 minutes, you got scared, you peed, you pooped, all of that sort of thing. Sounds um, so how, how's it going? Going good. What's what on you your mind to today? What's the topic? I, I don't I don't. I, honestly, I went and took a piss and I put your stream on. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Yeah. I mean, I, I saw that you had a bunch of your fans in my chat. So I guess that kind of escalated to, uh, to us debating. So mm. can we talk about... Um, uh, the cuckold thing. I've seen you lie. I, I want to press you. I mean, is that really the big thing you want to talk to me about of all the things? I would prefer yeah, to actually debate you about real about issues. People, people need to hear the facts. All right. People need to hear the facts. All right. Because you've been lying and I, I can't take that anymore. I, I see a liar and I, I, I just I, I, I enter into a state where I need to kill. You know, why would you want to debate if you don't have a topic to debate <laughs> besides I, I already the explained the story thing. Really? Yeah, the cuckold thing. Yeah, it needs to be. It needs to be said. You can't. You keep. You can't keep worming away from this, Hunter. I'm not worming away. I'm just. I'm trying can't to keep actually. Keep worming. Why are you I'm worming? Trying to debate you about something that's. You're worming know, right now. You're just worming. About. Why do you want to talk about all the black guys? Why are you pee? not? Why are you not allowed on? Um. Why, why are you only on Cozy? Why are you not on YouTube? Because it's fun, man. Okay. Because because I can't get banned because I actually have like controversial opinions. That gets censored. Are you trying to wiggle away? No, I'm curious. I want to debate you about a real worm? issue. I, I'm, I'm, I don't go into the fucking cuck thing. It's a boring topic. There, I've already it's addressed it all. I've it's, already addressed it's not it all. Boring. Even all right, when you just said, "How are the black guys?" Like, there's no, there were no black guys. Like, what are you talking about? There were five, right? And the one that she was texting. No, no. Wait. Do you think that she left me for these guys? Um, I, I think she left you because your dick wasn't doing shit. Right, like that's what she said in the text message. See, now right? you're lying already. <laughs> that's what. No, this she, is exactly no, why I don't want to debate. She was this telling the black is, guy. No, 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 she was she telling the black she guy said that it, having sex with you sucked, and it no, took she too didn't. long. No, no, she didn't. She said it takes me a long time to come. That's called not being a minute man. I know you're probably not familiar with that concept, but again, because yeah, I'm a virgin. For, well, Let's go. Jesus I know for Christ, you, you're probably running. used to being a maybe like a two minute man when it comes to your blow up doll or something. But for someone like me, yeah, I'm not a minute man. She was saying it takes me a long time to come. She was not saying yeah, that and I was not good in the bedroom. But was it, what was the connotation of that? Was it like, wow, he takes so long to come. I'm in heaven. <laughs> no, was she was he, just was talking like, about how it takes me a long time to come in general. Was she, she, like, she wasn't saying it like a negative. You no. know, like, like let me let me paint the picture in your head. So she's like laying there. You're, you're like trying to lay pipe. And then she's like looking at her watch and being like, man, this is taking a long uh -huh. time. That's, that's like, exactly that's what like happened. Something this is why good. I don't this is why I don't want that, to that's bother like going into this topic with you is because you have your little fantasy in your head. You probably masturbate to it quite regularly about what happened. <laughs> and that's what you have kind of stuck to. So I'm regardless of what, what the text no, 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 I just told me, you, these are like ad excuse me, excuse me, ad hominem excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I just told you what the text actually said. And then I just told you what the text actually said and now you're just denying it again right, so you're you're, you're, you're stuck to your fetish you you're stuck to your erotica that what you wrote mean? in your you head told me what they said and I this saw is them. that I read that's them why we don't eyes. waste our time debating this topic so why have you been banned from uh why are you only on cozy you said you have controversial opinions that you're not allowed to or that you get banned for what are some controversial opinions one last wife question if i could and no, then we'll move on. No more wife well, questions. Hey, no, no, no. You're on my stream, on my channel. Uh, you're on my stream. I so, got more viewers than you, nigga. Do you just want me to? Oh, sorry. Do you just sorry, want me? I'm on cozy. 
<laughs> I'm black. You guys can't see me. I'm black, actually. We've so already I'm, seen uh, your YouTube channel, audience. and you are definitely not black, you, okay? YouTube audience. I'm Irish. <laughs> So technically, I am black if you think about it. So uh, YouTube <laughs> audience, YouTube moderators, I'm black. All right, I'm allowed to say that. I'm, right, I'm well, actually not what are some, your channel. No, 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 I know, I know. But for real, what are what are some of your controversial things? Let's get off my sex life that you're oddly obsessed about. The, let's. Instead, I have one last question though. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight if I don't ask you. You're not gonna be able to sleep tonight because you're gonna be thinking about it constantly, probably while stroking your dick again alone. So just yeah, go I, back to I your actual come, controversial was... opinions now, please. So, All right, did you piss on your wife or did that? come about afterwards like did that fetish come i'm pissing on you guys? in this conversation right now i wouldn't so why don't we go on to the next topic now so what else do you uh what why what are some what of your was controversial the piss opinions? A thing before or after i'm just before or after what are some of your controversial opinions then um i don't know race is real fucking gays bad okay so pretty much the whole fucking i mean i'm pretty big dude. into the gay thing i'm pretty i'm pretty gay <laughs> yeah so. i can tell <laughs> I'm I'm super gay, so uh, <laughs> so what? Why why is why is gay bad? Um, morally, uh, I, I'm a religious guy, but obviously you're not, so it's not too uh, interesting. I, I I think in general it, it leads towards bad outcomes for for offspring. I think in general also the the gay lifestyle has proven to be um, really like um, re, re, like it's very much different from from what uh monogamous or like it, like they're not monogamous they 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 have many partners it's very like untraditional not that traditionality is like the only judgment of what is and is not good or valid but um it, it is so much in such such a way that it it leads towards bad outcomes even for the people in general i think how is it bad for people Boston? generally that's what i want to know because I, I mean obviously i tend to bring up the data pretty frequently, but there've been a, there's been long-term data collection. It's not just like one study that I, you know, found from like gayisgood.com. Like you can look at long-term data collection that shows that kids adopted by gay parents do just as well as kids raised by straight parents. And it's some state, it's some- like scholastic metrics? Scholastically, socially, the likelihood of them doing drugs, um, psychological development, emotional well-being. And in some areas, they tend to do a little bit better, like academia, primarily because if you're being adopted, then odds are you're also going to have uh, some money to better get an education. I, I, I think with any field of study, we need to acknowledge the limitations of that field of study. I think there's a huge limitation on like studying of homosexuality because of the lobbies that are behind it, right? We have massive lobbies that are then funding studies. Which are these say lobbies that, like, international or are they just good. in the U.S.? International, yeah. So there's, there's like an, this like is a like a money globo homo it. thing that you're you're getting out then. Yeah, and it's not like a conspiracy. Like there's like you can look up the lobbies, like you know what I mean. Well, no, no, no. Like, even if they're even if we can look up the lobbies, I'm that, just wait, wait, wait. Even if they're, even if you can look up the lobbies, that doesn't mean that these lobbies are involved in every single study ever produced that says that kids raised by gay parents did well. That, uh, this is why that, I know, brought up, lines. first yeah. of all, you're correct that we need to acknowledge the limitations, but this is why I brought up that there have been decades of this data collection. Yeah, but decades ago, it was telling a very different story, right? The collection mm -hmm. of data, proved, or the direction of data seemed to indicate that it was bad outcomes, that, no. that, that degenerate lifestyle was bad for you. And why is that? That's because of the culture of the time shifted rather than the science sh shifted. Well, if there could be social reasons why you would see a higher rate of promiscuity amongst gay people and then see that go down. But I don't know where those studies showed that prior. I would be very curious. I'm only aware of just one study that showed that kids raised by gay parents do poorly. Uh, and that was done in like 2012. But that study itself was actually deeply flawed. And even the, the publication acknowledged that the study did not actually prove what it, it said it did. So, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with the research. I'm curious what you're talking about, where it at one time said something completely different. But even if it did, I mean, there could be social reasons why that as well, right? Uh, social reasons as in what? As in like, you could talk about why, there, so there are certain reasons why people might be more likely to engage in promiscuous, uh, promiscuous behavior, for example. So if you're like kicked out of your home, uh, if you're homeless, well, then odds are you're going to be more likely to engage in promiscuous sex or more likely to do drugs or something like that. And so if we see higher rates of homophobia and higher rates of gay people being kicked out, you might see a higher rate of drug use amongst gay people as well. But that's not like because they're gay. Um, I, I don't think that's reflected by any of the like 
the, the, the data. I, I don't think that's reflected by anything. That, like, you getting kicked out of your home is somehow, like, more indicative of promiscuity than, like, two men with male libidos wanting to have sex with each other. Like, or, wanting to have sex with like each other, though. Reality. Is, it, it, wanting to have sex with each other would be fine, though, yeah, right? Promiscuous am, being a bunch of partners would be the problem. Yeah, yeah. Just the male and female libidos are just simply different, right? So, therefore, like, the the... the you know, obtainable good, which is like cock, is is then is then very plentiful and easily given out. You know, it, like to to try to like like I feel like you're just sort of like shifting because you don't want to acknowledge like that being gay. Like gay people are just more promiscuous. Like that's just how it is. No, no, right? no. I'm I'm not even denying right. that necessarily. It's true that there's higher rates of promiscuity amongst the gay community in general, but that doesn't reflect on how two gay parents uh, raising kids. That doesn't reflect on those children because those kids, those parents would be married. They would, they're not engaging in promiscuous behavior. They're married. And if we know that when they adopt children, those children do well, you said that gay is bad for offspring. How, it's, do, you, do you mean it's bad because they can't have offspring? Um, well, I mean, we, we, we can get into studies. I, you, you can say that it's like cope to say that like the, the lobby's uh, biased, the, the, the pool of like studies of what we have about like gay uh, raising children. But um, – you know, I, I think it's just reality, like, and I think it's pretty readily apparent that that massive lobbies do have a, a particular interest in pushing for the acceptance of homosexual relationships and therefore also homosexual, like, Even if they, they, they might, but yeah, but there's no, necessary, there's no evidence that they're involved in those studies. So, what do you so mean there's no evidence? That's why who it's the cope. Them? Who funds that's, them? I, I mean, I, I honestly, I don't know who funded the study, but I know that there are multiple different studies. I can pull them up if you'd want. Actually, I will. But, um... Yeah, no, it does sound like a cope. It sounds like you're just like, well, the lobbies, you know, so it's probably just all wrong. I mean, that's <laughs> – really? Like, Do you think if somebody is giving scientists studies to – somebody is giving them money to do studies on something that they're very concerned with, the, the like tacit knowledge that if the study turns out incorrectly or if the study is pushed in a certain way, that they are not going to receive more money to do studies I in the future? I don't believe that's you, you how it that, works. That I, don't think you're, I don't think they're effect. paying people to get results for them. I don't think that's how that works. We because can look into we it. Live in happy land we can look we into in it. Happy, no, no, friendly, you're, you're living in the Lulu land. land right now because you're just making stuff up. You and I both don't know exactly how it works. So you just deciding that it's this creepy conspiracy thing is not helpful. So hold on. Like, a like, like, let's just think, adoption, like, right? let's just think about like, um, the, 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 um, the Institute of like mental illness or not the Institute, but you know, like the category of mental illness. Like, do you, do you think that they just decided that transgender are no longer mentally ill? Or do you think that the massive lobby um, that was lobbying for transgenderism to not be a mental illness, homosexuality to not be a mental illness. No, do you think that, that, that had a negligible effect? No, because it's think... about how we define a, men, a, a mental illness. Being transgender isn't a mental illness because simply having an identity that differs from your biology is not a mental illness. The mental illness is something that would cause distress and hinder your day-to-day -day life. That's why gender dysphoria is a mental illness. Transgenderism is like 60% comorbid with anxiety and depression. What would you call that? I would say Fun? that there's a lot of social explanations for that, and you can look at that data as well. <laughs> and and we've just never ran a multiple regression analysis or anything to tr to try to find the weight of each each individual element on on why it's sixty percent comorbid. You think that's all because people are bullying them? I'm gonna pull a Ben Shapiro line. No, 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 my friend, I do not think that it's just bullying. I think that there is a lot of other issues at play there. Mm. For example, the gender dysphoria is also a comorbidity with anxiety and depression. So if you're trans and you have gender dysphoria, you're probably going to have depression and anxiety as well. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't surprise me at all. Because it's a mental illness, probably. Because right? gender dysphoria is a mental illness, yes. Yeah. and, and <laughs> But being is trans dysphoria? is not a mental illness by the very Excuse definition me, of the word. Mr. Genius Man, what is gender dysphoria? Gender dysphoria is significant distress relating to the fact that your gender identity differs from your biology. Okay, and then transgender, if you could? Trans is simply having an identity that differs from your biology. The dysphoria okay. is distress from the difference in biology and your gender identity. Okay, so if transgenders, people, transgender, not, not gender dysmorphics, transgenders, the people, 
are 60% around there comorbid with anxiety, depression, other things. So how, how is that not like distress is what I'm, what I'm saying, man. Because, how is that? How why, is that wait, wait, not, how is that not the threshold? Because there's distress. The thing that makes you transgender is a mental illness, but being transgender is not mental no, illness. No, right? having gender dysphoria is not what makes you transgender. This is just, an, wait, this is just wrong. Transgender so? is defined as someone whose gender, who has an identity that differs from their biology. That's it. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to have distress from that. <laughs> now, if you deal with bullying, with discrimination from family, trans people are at a higher risk of violent crimes, then yes, if you deal with that, then there's also a higher likelihood that you'll develop anxiety and depression from that. And then you how can you, also you know have distress. How, if you how would had you dysphoria. Know if you're transgender if you didn't have gender dysmorphia. It's you'd dysphoria, just be like, okay, with just, it. I'm not trying to be dysphoria. all it's dysphoria, but okay, sorry. It, it you would know because your gender identity would be different than the one and that, that would was feel otherwise good, I think that would be like nice. You'd be like, Whoa, you might just be content with I that. I wish I had tits. That's cool. You yeah, well, you might be content with it. You just might not have distress from the fact that there is a, a difference of biology there. I don't think anything what you're saying makes sense. And I th <laughs> well, that's because you're kind of retarded. No, I'm a, I'm a genius certified. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't really get what your little like argument technique is here. Um, if people like, like the, the comorbidity has already essentially been laid out. So you can say like, oh, well, technically they don't have distress. They're just transgender. Well, like transgender people, they're, they're still anxious. They still have depression. Wait, wait, wait. Do you uh, understand that, that we only really acknowledge or <laughs> that we only really see? Wait, do you understand um, that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do you think that? Okay, wait, here's a question. Let's say there's somebody who's transgender. They don't have any stress. Okay. And then tomorrow they have a big job interview. So now they're really stressed out. Does that mean being trans is a mental illness because they're stressed out and they're trans? No. Um, okay. But it, so it then they can illness. have stress and be distressed about things unrelated because... to the fact that they are trans or that their identity differs from their biology. Well, all right. All right. What if you have schizophrenia and you know that the fucking CIA turbo Jews are, are spying on you every second, but like you like it. You're kind of like a voyeur. You know, you're like jerking off in your room and you're like, dude, these fucking CIA Jews, they, they love watching me jerk off. Like you love you love schizophrenia. You're super happy. Is that a mental illness because you're happy? because you're smiling a lot or or perhaps is your brain just broken in that case you would be having a mental illness yeah it doesn't matter whether or not you're happy oh, in the other case we're talking about someone who's in the other case we're talking about somebody who has right, so, a, so why wait, why wait, wait, is wait, wait, the inherent, stop, wait, wait. inherent in another, why is the inherent ah, why is the why is the inherent inability to recognize reality a mental illness for schizophrenics because even in a circumstance a where it reality. doesn't cause harm you're, you're not understanding you, One you say is they're, seeing they're that there is CIA agents in your room when they're not there. The other is simply having an internal perception of yourself. That's and it's it. not It's just there. an identity. And no, it's that not it is there, there. right? It, is, it absolutely is there. But, but you it don't identify from as your having biology. A, wait, 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 wait. Yes, because there's the gender identity and then there is biology. They are two separate concepts. Yeah. Somebody with wait, then wait, why wait. do they staple fucking cocks to themselves? Wait, do huh? you think that wait wait wait? Do you think that if somebody body identifies body as a why, woman, why do they wait, need do you think to that have biologically... nine hundred thousand dollars surgery to make their body align with their mental can, state? Can you, hold on a minute, okay? Uh oh, stop. Uh oh, <laughs> because in uh -oh. that case we'd be talking about somebody with gender dysphoria who's then going under treatment, undergoing treatment. Like a, a actual dysphoria because so, of so their biology. So you agree with me. They're fucking mentally ill. You agree with me. But you're just trying to use words so you can be nice no, to trans. No, you're just so stupid. Platform. You're somehow not grasping this. And it's actually adorable to me right now. I am trying to explain to you that somebody can simply be trans. And what that means is that their gender identity differs from the gender identity that otherwise would be expected of them uh, according to their biology. So let yeah. me explain. When so, a baby so is born with mind, a penis and we in put their them mind, in a blue wait, no, no, bedroom, no, no, let, let's we have decided that. to socialize what it means to be a boy with mm, the color yes, blue. Yes, yes. We have a social construct. That is blue an identity. Is bad, yes. So somebody blue. who is a, a transgender woman, biologically male, who identifies as a woman, penis, doesn't yes. identify or doesn't believe that they now have a vagina. They know they have a penis. Vagina, yes. If anything, vagina. that if they had gender dysphoria, that would be because they recognize that there mm. is a misalignment there. Exquisite. 
I so, feel like so, you're just not even listening to me at this point. You're not taking anything I'm saying seriously. No, no I got it. Blue equals boy. I, I understand that. No, that's not what I said at all. I was trying to give no, you an actual – really, I was trying to give you like a succinct breakdown, but I think no, you're I got, just too I retarded. got that. Blue, blue is boy. I got... It's okay. I would, I would listen. No, no, tell, no, I got tell the blow doll hey, I said hey, 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 It's okay. my turn to talk. Um, my... Bye-bye. He's he's not even listening to me at this point. This guy, That guy's way too retarded to keep dealing with. Nope. Hanging up on somebody is literally running away. No, it's not. Running away is pretending that you're um, in a debate, but then just not listening or taking anything they say seriously. Resin, yeah. Yo. Yo. Hey, how's it going? Are you going to st- Are you gonna actually start taking what I'm saying I'm, seriously? Because I'll, be I'll, I'll just leave again. Because yeah. I'm not going to waste my time if you're just going to sit here and then just go on blabbering for, uh, without, no, me, I'll be without nice. listening to what I'm saying. No, I'm sorry. That was fucked up of me. Okay. You're right. It was. It hurt um, my feelings. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right. So... Uh, you said sorry. So you said blue equals boy. No, all right. I understand the, the the concept that I'm trying to get past here is that gender dysmorphia or gender dysphoria is um is the distress that 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 comes from not having your biology um match up with your your inner sense of of self and your inner sense of gender, right? Sure. What and I it can am also saying, be further exacerbated by being treated as like socially as the gender that you don't identify as as well. But yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So what what I'm saying is that the the mental illness comes in from the disconnect from reality and perceived gender, right? That that is the lack of sense of self or the, the destruction of sense of self, which is a mental illness, which we sort of like categorize pretty boldly as a mental illness when it comes to things like people who think that they shouldn't have a leg or people who um. But you're you not know, understanding that somebody who doesn't th- who thinks they shouldn't have a leg, if we were to then like cut their leg off, that would just do nothing but they feel better I, i'm it, sorry it wouldn't, it wouldn't cause them to feel this. better that's not all that's just not yeah. true so <laughs> no what we're talking about though <laughs> is a documentary. there, there he are two froze different his leg off in a deep freezer and they cut it off and he was there, like this is there are epic. two different sides to this though that i feel like is the the confusion here is there it are people that I, I guess i would consider like transsexuals people that actually undergo the sex reassignment surgery those are people who have the problem with biology as well okay but then what it means to simply be trans, the reason it's not a mental illness is because what it means is that you simply have an internal perception of yourself that aligns more so with a different side of the socially constructed gender spectrum. So that's why I say that a woman, for example, is someone whose internal perception aligns with what we culturally view as being feminine. That would make somebody a woman. It's not having a vagina or wearing a dress. It's your internal perception. Now, what would oh, make you, kind you of... a female is having a vagina, chromosomes, hormones, etc. You kind of fucked up your liberalism there, right? Because it, it, it's it's only self-identify that matters, not like culturally female, right? Because like, what if you're like a non-binary? Um, no, because how you determine your identity, you're, you're identifying during that day as a female, right? No, then because you be a female because ha- that identity is formed by the external social construct. So the internal perception doesn't just magically come out of nowhere. And also it's not just any internal perception, but rather it is your internal perception in regards to the socially constructed spectrum of gender, the social, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, constructive view of uh, gender. So cultural views. um, So do you not respect uh, like non-binary Zizims? Well, I mean, if we're talking about non-binary, that's just somebody who usually I imagine them kind of in the middle of the spectrum. So they just have an identity that's in regards to a, a rejection of the binary and rather they're in the middle of that spectrum. So this is why, for example, uh, somebody is a Christian because their religious beliefs, right? Like what makes a religion a religious belief? It's the internal belief you have in regards to spirituality, a soul, heaven, something like that gender internal perception you have in regards to the socially constructed view of masculinity and femininity if i was transracial would that be okay N- no because not everything can is trans or can just be identified as again that, that's what there's be, no there's because no like, gender actual is an identity basis of race right because like, gender is an identity but not and everything race isn't an identity there's a component of identity and race, but it is not purely an identity the way that gender is. What is, is the other component? What do you What do you mean? What color like, their the other... skin is? How we define yeah, color? Right. Yeah, stuff like that. So somebody saying I'm black that doesn't make them black, but somebody having an internal perception. But I feel black on the inside. That'll, yeah, but that's not what makes you black. I don't care if you feel. What black makes on the you inside. black? The color of your skin, the way we categorize color. And a vagina makes you a woman, right? 
that would make you a female. But then there's a social component, which is gender. Mm. And that's the form that you can identify with. What if I like play basketball and eat some watermelons and, and I think I'm black? I don't think you're yeah. understanding. That's not what makes you black. I'm feeling gender a is component. about your internal perception in regards to a socially constructed view of femininity and masculinity. That's not what race is. Right? Just, just like religion, just like I'm not like, just like if you have an internal perception of yourself that you're a Christian or something, you're not Christian gender because you have an internal perception of yourself in regards to spirituality. Yeah. So I mean, that's just like a belief you have, though. I don't. I like. I, I feel like you're, you're you're sort of mixing metaphors here with the religion. Like I don't, I don't know how that's relevant. No, uh, I'm not. All, like my entire I'm point about is just how... that the rejection of reality and the focus on the mental perception as as all that matters. Like we we like because you're, you're sort of skirting around the reason saying, the well, mental well, thing. In, in the case, wait, 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 hold on. I'm sorry to cut you I, off again. The you're, reason you're, you're me. told me it's not an analogous though, but the Christian thing I bring up is because that's why I, I bring it up specifically because that is what all that matters when it comes to being a Christian is what you believe inside. No, well, not a Catholic. Okay, maybe not a Catholic. But generally, non-denominational Christian, which is what I was raised, we're taught that in order to be a Christian, you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and profess with your mouth that God rose him from the dead. That makes you a Christian. You don't have to ever go to church or do anything to actually externally present as a Christian to be a Christian. Similarly, a woman is someone whose I mean, internal perception aligns with what we culturally view as being feminine. Retarded, so they believe in them. They believe inside that they are a woman. They believe that their, their identity more so aligns with these cultural views. They say they're a woman, and that's what ultimately holds the weight. But odds are, if you identify as a woman, you're going to take steps to present as a woman. Uh, yeah, I, I'm the, the the issue that I have is, is that when we're comparing like race trans trans racialism and transgenderism like the only thing that stops it in your mind is, is that like oh well there's a genetic component and, and you know you're not just black if you think that you're black and it's like fucking why because you decided that's the case no because like, this is like, how because we have socially constructed forms of identity and then we also have socially constructed forms of labels and categories that are not also identities you certainly you understand this that there are socially constructed labels for identities. But there they, are socially constructed labels. So we socially construct categories of race, but just socially constructed categories are not socially constructed identities. Let me give you another example. We have socially constructed sports. We invented the game of football. Here's how we're going to play. Here's how you throw the ball. Here's what you do. Now that we have this external social construct, you can identify as a football fan now you can have an internal perception of yourself that is a valid identity yeah. in regards to an external social construct the same thing is uh the, the it's the same thing with gender i feel i feel like this is a lie though how, how can you accept non-binary and non-binary is simply the rejection of any sort of so like external social factor no, non-binary usually would fall in the middle of the spectrum. I'm talking about a gender spectrum, not a gender binary, not just a strict man, woman, but rather there are levels and it's a spectrum of masculinity and femininity, which we, we all that recognize that spectrum this. is all encompassing. What do you, what do you mean? If they're non-binary, they would be like in the middle of that spectrum. Usually they don't identify on one side or the other, but they're still on the spectrum. So their identity well, is, is still is in like regards to male? that social construct. So the, the, the spectrum is limited by like traditional male and traditional female? The spectrum is limited uh, mainly by not really traditional, but our cultural views of gendered expectation and gender presentation. Yes. Because that's what gender is. It's a social construct. Just like I can't identify well, then, as a fan of, of watermelon ball because I just made that sport up. That, right, that, well, then, that doesn't make any sense. I can on only identify spectrum, as a football the, fan because on that's the spectrum, already Yeah, I don't think that makes any sense. On the spectrum from white to black, yeah, when, when do you stop being black and, and start being white? Myself. There's going to be some blurriness there, of course. And I mean, that's why we have, like, there's mixed race as well. And so just if you can find some one-off blurriness and just if those lines are not always strictly defined, again, does not mean that you can just say I'm black and that makes you black. Why not? Be, I've already explained to you because I'm you're a, black I'm a, based I'm a, on the I'm color of your presenting. skin, just like you're white based I'm on the color of your skin. 
I'm white presenting, but I'm black inside. That's great. I've already told you that that doesn't matter. Like, that's not like, what, that's you, not what you, race is. Like race is not a socially reason. constructed no, no. form of identity. It's a socially constructed Yo! category. You're a race realist. Let's go. You're what? telling me that it's not a social race is not a social construct. It's not a socially constructed identity. It is a socially it constructed category. What do you mean by that? That's what I said. It's, so it's based on genetics is what you're saying. I said it's a socially constructed category. We categorize people based on the color of their skin. We, we socially... categorize people based on their skin. We categorize people based on their presentation as male or female. Also, as man right? or woman. You're close. Yes, but as man or woman. Yes. I said male or female. What? Okay. Male or female would be sex. Man or woman would be the social. Okay. Okay. We categorize them as man or woman. Okay. okay. We categorize you as black or white. Social categories, both of them. Okay. So now where's the difference? Why can't I because be Because one is a social category only, and the other is a social category that's also an identity. Just like we have social categories for sports. Which one and isn't there an are identity? Also so, identities. No, 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 uh, before the shitty metaphor, which one isn't an identity? Black people or white or uh, women? You can't identify as black, and that does not make you black. You don't just identify as black to be black. That's not what makes See, you black. See, this is where the but if you identify as a woman, ex- that's this is what. Self- this is where the sophistry really exposes itself. You're telling me black people don't identify as black? You're telling let me, me. Let me go ahead and reiterate since you're you're having a retard moment again. Okay. No, no, no. no. Black people do identify as being black, but that's not what makes them black. So if a black person says, I'm white, I identify as white, they don't become white, they're still black. But because the if you have a gender identity, important. since it is a socially constructed form of identity, you can identify as a woman based on the external social construct of masculinity or femininity. That does this not mean sophistry. that you have a vagina. No, no, listen, it listen. means that your gender presentation uh, you said and this identity. Eight times. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear Difference. me out. Well, well, the, the only the only thing that's backing up this this like presentation of the grand difference between race and gender is that we're operating off of the belief that society would reject you if you, as a white person, present yourself as a black person they'd say no clearly you are a white person no, you are not a black person not. you are not black but that also happens with transgenders because man. it's not the rejection that makes it invalid it's because no, 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 the, everything i've said here is completely consistent and you're just breaking down listen to this guy he's spurging out right now oh my god are you okay he just wanted to say one thing without being interrupted are you okay? I I would be nice. You aren't being nice. You I'm know, not being IQ nice hurts. because I have a low tolerance for low IQ. And that's what you I'm are right now. You're What's somehow your not Is grasping these very simple things that I'm telling you. Okay. One being a category, just like, you know what? We categorize cats and dogs. Can I identify mm. as a dog? No, because dog is not a socially constructed identity. It is a socially constructed category. Why can we not cha- why can we not choose a racial presentation that differs from our binary race if it causes us distress? Oh my god, you're not getting it at all and I think we've already gone over this enough times that right. now you're just going to keep on asking the question over and over again. Uh, so I feel I think I feel now like is a good time for us to go. I know you feel like that because you're you're too you're too stupid to grasp the arguments I've laid out for you. I've made it so clear. I gave you you called it a shitty example, but I gave you the example about the sports thing and the Christianity thing about the difference between socially constructed categories versus identities. And you're just, you're not grasping it. So, all right, well, if you're smarter than me, let's end it right here. And well, answer me this. If you're smarter than me, what's 4,958 times 45,587? Go. Your blow up doll needs more air. Goodbye.